Kate Middleton often channels her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana, when it comes to fashion. However, there is one style rule that Diana frequently broke that Kate still mostly strictly follows. The current Princess of Wales has been known to channel her late mother-in-law through her wardrobe, but she still mostly adheres to it. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Style architect woman Zandra Rhodes said, for high, that Diana cherished minimal dark dresses, yet that the previous princess of ribs shouldn't have wear dark except if she was in grieving or at a burial service. She would come into my shop in Mayfair and go through the rails. Some of the time she picked something in dark, which the royals weren't permitted to wear besides at memorial services, so we would make it in her size in an alternate tone. While Diana was ever one to head out in a different direction, with regards to dressing as an individual from the illustrious family, her little girl in regulation Kate, seems to keep to the principles more than her better half's mom, the day-to-day -day mirror composes, adding that, with regards to dark, the ongoing princess of ribs for the most part just wears the shade, while it grieving and at burial services. Hello, adds that Princess Kate, has a closet loaded with rainbow shaded dress and stylish neutrals, and, with regards to not donning dark besides at burial services, she nearly, consistently complies to the implicit rule. Catherine, Princess of Ridges meets with military staff during a visit to Armed Force Preparing Center per Bright on September 16, 2022 in Guilford, Britain. The ruler and Princess of Grains are visiting the instructional hub to meet soldiers from the Republic who have been conveyed to the UK to partake in the memorial service of Sovereign Elizabeth II, which will occur on September 19. Kate wore black to the funerals of Queen Elizabeth in September 2022 and Prince Philip in April 2021. She also wore black throughout the month of mourning for Queen Elizabeth. The Princess of Ribs likewise wears the variety for yearly recognition day occasions, and however she has sported dark beyond serious events, it's intriguing. Instead, Princess Kate often follows the fashion rule of the late Queen Elizabeth that says to stand out from the crowd, wear bright colors. According to Bethan Holt, fashion director at the Daily Telegraph and author of The Duchess of Cambridge, I think we have seen lots of examples where the reference is very intentional, and I think that Kate uses fashion to pay tribute to Diana in a very positive way. Although Kate has not largely adopted her mother-in-law's penchant for wearing black. That's what Holt added, what's truly key about these times when Kate references Diana, dislike an ensemble. She brings it straight modern so she makes it look important for the time being. She's not completing an 80s power shoulder or a puffball skirt, she's making it look sleeker and more contemporary. She makes it her own without appearing as though she's playing, take on the appearance of Diana. However Rhodes said royals weren't permitted to wear dark except if in grieving, Diana ignored that standard as soon as 1981, back when she was still woman Diana Spencer and not long after she became drawn into then-sovereign Charles. On March 9, 1981, Diana attended a fundraising concert in a black gown designed by David and Elizabeth Emanuel, who would later design her wedding dress in July of the same year, marking Charles and Diana's first public engagement together. As individuals detailed, the fitted, dark, off-the-shoulder Christina Stambolian dress with a lopsided hemline and chiffon train was surprising for an individual from the commonly closed-up regal family to wear, and the noteworthy look was worn on an extremely powerful night, that very night Charles admitted on public TV that he had been faithless to her in their marriage. The future king stated, it is a deeply regrettable thing to happen, but it does happen, and, unfortunately, it has happened in this case.